let's look at one sided limit there are functions which are piecewise that means there are different pieces of this graph which you know do not follow the same pattern say for example uh, f of x is equal to if uh, x if x is greater than 0 yes if x is greater than 0 then f of x equal to x and 1 plus x if x is less than or equal to 0 and this is called a piecewise function because the value of the f of x depends on a condition and depending on that the value is different okay so what would happen when we plot a graph of this you would notice that at 0 when x equal to 0 and for both of them there will be a gap let's look at uh, a few of them say f of x is equal to absolute value of x divided by x which basically means that when x is greater than 0 it is 1 and it is minus 1 when x is less than 0 yes do you notice there is not, no equal to 0 okay because then that this would become 0 by 0 which is indeterminate okay we are going to also look at square root of x f of x equal to 2 when x is less than or equal to 0 x square when x is between 0 and 2 0 4x when x is greater than or equal to 2 there is no rule which says you can't have many number of pieces okay now let's look at one more x minus absolute value of x we'll look at this and what we are going to do is we are going to look at it in GeoGebra. now i'm actually uh, going to do it uh, type it individually so that you know how to type it in GeoGebra. if you start with the condition itself and square brackets if x is greater than 0 then x then again if x is less than or equal to 0 then 1 plus x got the graph so here if you look at it what's happening if you come from the left the limit as x approaches 0 and from the left hand side it is equal to what it is equal to 1 whereas limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side it is equal to 0 right so here the left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit yes they both reach a different destination now this is one function let's look at the next function absolute value of x divided by absolute no we should say abs and we can do that also absolute value of x divided by x and to avoid confusion let's hide this let's not have displayed okay now this is absolute value of x divided by x so this is another graph now here what is happening here again the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side is equal to what 1 limit as x approaches 0 from the negative side that is from the left hand side it is minus 1 now let's look at square root of x let's hide this sqrt is the square root in geogebra square root of x now here if you notice you know it somehow looks as if there is nothing for x 
being negative. There is no coming from the negative side. Why? Because you can't have a square root of a negative number in real numbers. Right? We are talking of real numbers. Although we know that we can have a square root in negative numbers only if we look at complex numbers. Okay, so square root of x limit as x approaches 0 from the negative side does not exist. Limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side is 0. Now let's look at this one. This seems to be much more complicated. Okay, so let's remember for every of these we need to have a if statement if x is less than or equal to 0 then to else if 0 is less than x which is in turn less than 2 then x square else no, not there we need to bring it down so then if x is greater than or equal to 2, then 4x. Now let's zoom in or out. See now, we are having three pieces of the graph. So when we look at this, if you notice, you are going to have to look at left hand limit and right hand limit at multiple places. At x equal to 0, and at x equal to 2. So here in this function limit as x approaches 0 from the left hand side is equal to 2. Limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side it is equal to 0. Similarly limit as x approaches 2 from the negative side it is equal to 4. Limit as x approaches 2 from the positive side it is equal to 8. Okay. Now let's look at the last one. Let's hide this. x minus absolute value of x. Okay. Let's look at the limits for x equal to 0 and 1. So limit as x approaches 0 from the negative side. The limit is 0. Okay. Now limit as x approaches 0 from the right hand side also it is equal to 0 now slightly away from 0 approaches 1 from negative side from the left hand side it is equal to what it is equal to 0 okay similarly limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side it is equal to zero that's all for today bye for now please go to the about page of my channel and here you will find various links for each topic these are excel workbooks which i have been using in many of my videos download it and practice